Welcome back everybody, Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of my chronicle within the uh, Fia's Blood Assassin Compendium for Elden Ring. We're playing as a uh, arcane-based dagger build here, and uh, we're going to go into Old Wyndham, uh, or we're going to go into Wyndham and Old At Altus today. I started to say Atlas, and uh, I need to go check the video and see how we do that, so I will be right back. Okay, so the first thing on the docket is a Mariner. Let's uh, push time forward. And there is a talisman up here for us to grab as well. So, um, Luis is a viewer that watches, watches this, uh, series consistently. And I, there's something that he mentioned that I want to talk about just to have something to talk about as we go through this stuff, but we'll wait until after this fight. Almost died. Wow. There we go. I nearly had this guy, and he was able to enter into his uh, immune animations. I forget what it's called. Right before I could land my hit. So, um, address is the wrong word to use. It's more like, uh, I saw something that I, I kind of wanted to respond to, uh, because it's interesting and I wanted to, to give some explanation, but it's one of those things that's a lot easier to talk about than it is to write about. So the whole idea being, uh, he had mentioned that, uh, you know, that I, I, uh, I play destiny. I play destiny too. And he, he had mentioned something along the lines of, I must like that game a lot. Here's the weird thing about Destiny. I actually don't like it a lot. Um, I have the expansion pack this time around, but I don't think I'm, I, I think I'm going to switch back to a free to play account in the future. Um, and to say I don't like it a lot isn't really correct either. I don't know what words to use here. Destiny 2 is like a time sink for me. I can jump. It's it works the same way as Diablo 3 used to work for me. I can jump in for as little or as long a time as I like to. And uh, sometimes I get caught up in the build testing just like I would with Diablo. And I can spend, oh my gosh, I can spend a whole day on it just doing running Gambit and stuff like that. But it's just... Uh, something I'm doing at the moment as I listen to like a podcast in the background oh got him okay let's go ahead and pop another one of those we're gonna work our way uphill here 
Um, and so it's just one of those games that I'm able to jump into really quick if I have a little bit of time. So I had family here last week and uh, that necessitated that I have a uh, some flexibility in my schedule and not be doing things like planning on getting recordings done or streaming at certain times or anything like that, you know? So Destiny 2 becomes a place that I can dive into if I want to. I'm an introvert, so sometimes I need to recharge. I need to get off on my own. And I can jump in there for 15 minutes. Recharge and then get back out and uh, enjoy visiting with family some more. Oh. Magic. All right, so uh, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything over here. So it's actually kind of ironic that Destiny 2 is a game that I have some of, it's it's some of the most recordings on my channel revolve around Destiny 2. And it's a game that I would not list as some of my favorite games to play. We're going to go in here. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Yeah. So more of a time sink game, which for me works out quite well because I'm at my computer a lot. I just enjoy that. I'm a geek. But uh, a game that I'm really looking forward to is Starfield. Well, I don't know if I'd say I'm really looking forward to it, but uh, let me say that it has potential to be a game that I might have a lot of fun with. What is this thing? Is this thing not going to launch at me? I like Elden Ring more. This is a game. I think this game's fantastic, man. I've been playing it steady for like more than a year now, and that's really unusual for me. If you go back and look at my channel and you and you start str uh, stringing together the dates that I start and started, stop, uh, started and stopped, and then started again, Elden Ring Chronicles, you will find that it is practically back to back to back to back for like, I think it's almost two years now. I, I can't remember. And I, I just, I don't operate that way very often. I am a variety gamer. It is really rare. I, I haven't done stuff like that since maybe like uh, World of Warcraft. Where I used to play daily. Uh, for, for like several years in a row. All right, we're going to grab this stuff. And then there's a few loots that we can get. I was, I, I think I, I missed them coming up. But the talisman was the primary thing. Okay, I think there's one over here. Yeah. And I don't think I'm too worried about the other loot. It, they were little things. So, uh, I'm going to kind of glance around. But if I don't... I'm not going to spend very long. I'll see this one. Got a class three.
What is this that's stuck to the castle wall? Roots. Oh, yeah, okay. We did get death root here, and that's what that looks like. Death root. See, one of the things I like about this game that keep me, uh, keep me interested is that it's... There's a lot of lore, and the story is sort of complex. Like, they don't really feed you everything in, in like, a chronological order. You gotta piece stuff together. I am not good at that. I have to rely on other people to do that kind of stuff. But it's fun to listen to them. The game has a lot of depth to offer to. So, so think about it from that perspective. I have been playing Elden Ring back to back to back for almost two years. And there are times that I go to sleep listening to Elden Ring lore like it was a fairy tale. You know? And, uh, I mean, that's cool. Look at this view. Wow. That is unique territory for a game, in my opinion, to create such a rich story that it uh, starts to invade other areas of your life. You know, maybe invade is the wrong word, but uh, you enjoy it on multiple levels, not just playing it as a video game. Man, if they made an Elden Ring movie, I'd be about it. I would be really, really hopeful that they wouldn't screw that up, but if they had a live-action Elden Ring movie or an animated movie, you know, like they, uh, kind of in the style that they did for Final Fantasy years and years ago, and I, I don't know anything about Final Fantasy, so I wasn't able to enjoy that movie the way some of you did. Uh, I've never been into Final Fantasy, but, um... Here we go, we're at 70,000. Is that enough to level up? But I could appreciate the, uh, the, the, I guess the level of animation. What am I looking for here? Level up, yeah. Yep, we do. Okay, are we dumping into Arcane? Because I kind of forget. We're good with Vigor, we're good with Endurance. I had just reached 40 arcane. We could start pumping faith. I think I'm going to do that. Because there's a spell that we have that, uh... Let's take a look at that. How do I do that? Memorize spell. Okay, so it was an incantation. And it's a dragon incantation. This one, I think, yeah. And it needs 23 faith. Costs 48 faith points to use. Okay, so 23 faith is what I'm aiming for next. All right, guys, stand by. I'll be right back. Okay, well, the next thing for us is um, some catacombs, which I have not done. So this might take up the rest of the video. I don't really know because I've never done them before. I'm going to go ahead and do this blind. I think we go up into here. white dappled meat on a body here dappled white cured meat and our entrance should be right there okay new content for me Wyndham Catacombs.
What are you? I don't need you. Uh, okay, I'll keep everything else. I think the lighting here looks better, but you guys let me know if you have any preference. My assumption is that because YouTube is notorious for darkening videos up, that we want a little bit of extra glow. You guys can tell me. Whoa. Doggone it. I got got. Oh, there's a, there's a platform up there. All right, let me try and hit that platform. Get this. And I assume there's no false walls right here. There is not. Can we drop down here? I think no. got me. Darn it. So those things hurt a lot. We only lost 2,500 runes. That's if I die. Again, on my way back. Okay, we start at the top. Did it again. Where's the hint? There it is. So I'm going to want to send this thing back up whenever we get to the bottom, just in case I have to make this journey all over again. on to him. Okay, so that was quite difficult. Like, more difficult than it should have been is what I mean. Okay, I see a guy right there. doing their job, which is to bleed me as I 
progress into the dungeon. Make me use my potions. Whoa! I walked right into that. That's, that'll take a lot. I don't think so. What about... Oh. Dang it. Okay, so that guy looks like a gatekeeper. Down to six potions, man. Let's go through here first. Oh, I can't. Well, just going full ham on him seemed to be the strategy to take. Gosh, they are really bleeding me. I'm having to go through so many potions. Okay, so climb up. And then I assume we'll need to move to our left and then drop down into that other room that had the loot. Oh. Not uh, sure. Lightning Scorpion Charm. Oh, that sounds like it could be nice for uh, certain builds. Raises lightning attack, but lowers damage negation. Okay. Oh, this is uh, bad, bad, bad. Ow. Ah. 
Ah, I knew it. <laughs> I can't believe I lived through that. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're a little bit uh, over leveled now. That's one of the things Fighting Cowboy mentioned, and I think I'm I'm higher in level than he is. So we're able to survive, even if I'm doing really bad. We're gonna go across that way next. Oh, you know what? I can probably take him out from here. Oh, you ain't got the reach, son. Uh, so do we just double back? Now this right here, that I'm gonna put you on pause. Oh, you know what? We probably dropped down. Let me check that first. Yep. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook, page one. I want to look that up. That might have some interesting stuff in it. Where would the cookbook pages be at? Okay, here they are. Oh, they're not alphabetized. Nomadic, armorers, glenstone, missionary, page three, page one. Expands crafting repertoire. Lightning grease, drawstring lightning grease, lightning bone arrow, lightning bone arrow fletched, and lightning bone bolt. Okay. It's a lot of lightning stuff. Now, can we open this from this side? No. Uh... There we go. Okay, so now I'm sure that we just go back the way we came. There, okay. Another one of those sludge things. catch a ride to the top and thankfully we'll be able to rest at the grace site to get our health potions back
almost made that mistake again. Alrighty then, let's find out what kind of boss is in this place. and roll out. Oh, relatively easy. Love Lord Picker's Bell Bearing. Relatively easy. I've gotten good at dodging those cats. I... I know their timing. I haven't played this game in a while. It's been even longer since I faced a cat boss. And I was able to do that seamlessly. I'm kind of happy with myself as a player, you know? You gotta celebrate your victories, however small they are. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put you on pause and find out what's next. Alright guys, as you can see, we have teleported over to the Erd Tree Gazing Hill. And we're just going to follow this uh, path north. We're going right here. This is the Old Altus Tunnel, I think is what it's called. And on the way, there's an Ash of War to get. Yeah, there he is. Oh, no, there we go. All right. There's some uh, Blood Rose, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Blood Rose. Okay, so we're just going to uh, run right through here. There's, I think, two giants and a Summon Bell guy. One of those Tinker Bell dudes. And uh, we're going to go up through here. Did I get through? Not quite. <laughs> Almost. I was a little bit slow. Okay, so, uh, put the light on. We're actually gonna go down. That didn't go like I wanted, uh, thought it would. So, he goes through here. Yeah, he must have made a jump. I barely made that. Dead gummit. 25,000. Alright, dude. What did you do, cowboy? What did you do? I think maybe there was just simply some crystal in a wall that he was able to loot. We're gonna give it another shot. Oh my gosh, we gotta go. Yeah, because I didn't get the grace sight. Okay. Try, try again.
All right. Whoops. I made the jump that time. Okay, nothing there, so it must be the one right here. Yeah. Is that the only reason that he didn't drop down normal? Cry mini. Yes, it is. All right. Now we have the grace sight. And uh, stand by while I see what he does as he navigates us through these tunnels. Okay, as is usual for me, uh, I play him at two by speed and I do things in short increments so that I make sure I don't get confused or miss something. So we're going to clear this area first. Oh, uh, that's right. I'm inside his uh, fire. Wow, that's a bit of a... That's, so that's how you can cheese those guys, evidently. He, uh, I was inside of his flame lantern, so he didn't hurt me with the flame. This is where it is actually really nice to have a strike weapon, and I, I do not. But we are going to at least swap over to um, the twin blade I think uh, puts me at a heavy load okay so there we go we're just gonna roll with this um, I know he comes out here, he makes a right, and he starts up that ladder, so stand by and I'll find out more. Okay, so we'll clear this next section and see how the pole blade does. Better than the daggers. I took a lot of damage in a short amount of time there. I didn't realize it. See, we're just we're getting saved by the fact that I'm so over leveled that I can soak uh, I can soak up a lot of hits from how hard the, the current content is hitting at, you know. Bolt Drake Talisman plus one. All right, so uh, from here he goes, where did he go? He goes back out into the main room. Make sure that there's nothing there. Okay. Uh, stand by. Okay, so the job now is to basically drop down to the bottom tier, bottom floor. Uh, let's see, that's not correct. It could be, because we could get to the bottom that way also, but uh, we want to drop right here and handle these dudes over here. that bring the mic a little bit closer actually 
felt like my voice was pretty nice in the last one, but you can hear a little bit of overmodulation. I, I'm not sure if that's the right term, but it's where um, the mic is so close that you hear kind of the boop, 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 you know, in people's speech. So we'll try with my mic uh, where it's at right now. Hopefully that's good. My voice is a little bit kind of raspy today, so that doesn't really help. It makes it softer and there's not as much bass as my voice normally has. So I don't know. I might have made a mistake there by putting the mic away. You got me kidding me. Oh, oh. Three of them. All right. Let's try that. Okay. Well, hopefully we can recover the runes. Good news is I think I can just simply drop down to the bottom floor. Did he aggro? Oh, he did. All right. Hey, out of curiosity, I wouldn't expect so, but can I just plink this guy from right here? Can I put a poison arrow on him? Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. So I've got poison on him. Yeah, they don't know what to do, man. That's funny. This gives me the opportunity to see how how bad poison hurts I, obviously it takes a long time but it's on him for a real long time too he's still poisoned Oh man, that's cool. There, see, there's so many ways you can play this game, and I know I'm preaching to the choir here because I know less about this game than a lot of you that are watching. This is this has got to be one of the best games made in years. The depth. The complexity, the size of the game. Like, I like how uh, people describe it as being both deep and wide. And then all of the layers with the different character builds. You can roleplay the ever-living heck out of this thing. The, the storyline that has to be pieced together. So there are people who spend their days going, just going through all of the items and reading the descriptions in order to piece together the lore. They're not even really playing the game. They beat the game already, and now they're interested in uncovering the story. And that's a hard enough thing to do that... Uh, it takes a while. 
takes a lot of time. I gotta admit, man, whenever the live action stuff came out for the advertisements on this game, I thought, you know, that's pretty interesting, but it was so kind of uh, self-congratulatory, you know, with the actors being all over the top and stuff, and that, that I also... I don't want to say I was turned off by it, but it was kind of, it seemed cheesy to me. You know, I mean, I, th I thought on the one hand, wow, that's pretty good creative art direction. These are so, and that the fact that they spent money on some actual known actors and actresses, um, that's always going to arch an eyebrow, you know, like, wow, if they got that kind of money to spend, man, the people must feel pretty good about this game that know about it in the background, you know? But, uh... I didn't have any, any idea of how good the game was gonna be. None. No clue. Ah, oh, here we go. I knew there was something back here. Somber six. Okay, so he goes down here. Stand by and I'll see what happens. Okay, so it's a boss fight. Uh, that means I want to go back over to... Ooh, no, he's a stone troll, so I, I'm going to keep this weapon equipped. Um, we're going to pop this. Go here. Go get him, Oleg. There's not a lot of room to maneuver in here. Okay, Oleg has aggro. Well, he had aggro. Let's let's see how this goes. Oleg is taking it to him, man, and Oleg can take a punch. Look at that, that's barely doing anything to Oleg. Look at how little health he's losing. Poisoned them. Oh, darn it. I thought I got away from that. Man, that's cool. When you can just kind of Apply poison and then sit back and watch your summon take care of business. I don't think I'd spend a whole game doing that, but it is an interesting aspect that this game allows for, where you're... In, you know, it's a... Um, change of pace. You can, you can do that. It gives you that option. You're su getting your summon leveled up enough to be able to handle his own like that. Alright guys, stand by. Okay, so there's a shortcut that we can take back up to the Volcano Manor. Uh, let's see, how did he do that? He utilized this. Let's switch back over to daggers. Go. Okay, return to entrance. So first, I want to um, see 
how did he do this? Yeah, I think I'm going where I want to. I want to show you where we're going to be headed in the next video. Okay, that bridge right there is what we're looking for. But first... Right here is the Shaded Castle. Is that right? Yeah. And that's where next video is going to be taking place at. But for right now, if we go back down this path and move to our left. Okay. There should be a spirit elevator. Yep, there it is. Now, we're going to use two of these. Can I get up there? Must be from over here. Okay. One. There's the second one right there. Where are you? You're a wolf. Okay. Trina's Lily. And uh, that's the Bridge of Iniquity. Just shoot straight across, and there's a gray site here that we can take advantage of. And then he mentioned that there's an invasion, but that the... He can't figure out what's required to get this thing to trigger on a consistent basis. But he's on his way to the area right now. That's the part of the video I'm looking at. So I'm going to rest right here, and I will be right back. All right, guys. In the last seven minutes of this video... We're going to head over to this invasion I was talking about. She has a version of the knife that we're carrying, but it's, uh, I'm going to want to take a look at that because it's, uh, it's a sacred version. I'm a bleed build, so it's not, I don't think something I'm going to end up using. But maybe for a future build. Okay. Okay, now see, she didn't uh, invade. Oh, there we go, okay. Take that, Anastasia. We've seen her before. So we get the Sacred Butchering Knife. Which, for whatever reason, I don't see. I see a great knife. That must be it. And for her, she had it infused as sacred. Unless it's a... Uh, talisman. No, not, not that. This. Okay, I think in our inventory it just shows up as a regular gate, uh, great knife. So, that's that. We're done with that part. Uh, there is an item to get up here. Okay, now we head back, and I saw that there was a piece of loot. As I adjust the mic. Um, that I bypassed. Maybe I can grab that on the way back. But none of this stuff is very special. Oh, 
Oh boy, he reached further than I thought. Okay. And from here we are going to head back down. I think the fastest way actually is to simply fast travel down to Old Altus Tunnel. We got one more little fight to do involving a giant and a uh, named NPC. I think it was named. Oh, I didn't see this before. Glad I came back. So we're going to head back over to the Shaded Castle. Here we are. I'm going to head west, I guess northwest, to the left. There she is. We get a really cool weapon here, the Ant Spur Rapier. We're going to be taking a look at that in a minute. So apparently what is really cool about this weapon is that it has uh, naturally imbued into it, it has rot. And then on top of that, you can infuse it with uh, something else like frost or I assume bleed. And so in New Game Plus, it's possible then for you to get a second one. And now you can dual wield and you can have two ant spur rapiers that are applying I guess a total of three status effects. And because it's a straight sword, it's pretty quick. And that is something that I would prefer over, for example, dual wielding um, pole blades. Because I think dual wielding pole blades just looks funny. But dual wielding two straight swords uh, uh, looks more correct to me. So let's go get a nice view here. Man, that is pretty. Gosh, this game is so... So, so, so nice. So pretty. Alright. Um, Ant Spur Rapier. Is that you? Yeah. Causes Scarlet Rot buildup. There's my timer. And, you know, it's good buildup. 55. D in strength, D in dexterity. So it's a dex, it's a dexterity weapon. You can see twenty requirement there. Um, and then you can apply another effect: spur of a giant ant, which has been fashioned into a rapier. The blade drips with scarlet rot. Scarlet rot is an old legend of which Malay Marai of the Shaded Castle was a private believer. And indeed, he eventually found his own personal goddess. Skill, Impaling Thrust. 
Skill that lets piercing armaments overcome enemy shields. Oh, wow. Build power, then lunge forward for a strong thrust that uh, pierces an enemy's guard. That sounds phenomenal. There's the Omen Cleaver. I've heard that this is a decent weapon, too. Maybe it would be maybe it would be interesting to do a playthrough as a quality build where your own personal rule is that every new weapon you get as long as it's not based in something other than strength and dexterity you have to use well, i don't know like a self-imposed rule uh what do we got here what kind of damage are you strike standard and pierce I'd rather just stick with the twin blade. What are your requirements? I mean, you do scale well with arcane. This would probably be better than the axe. Even though the axe is S tier, but it's so short. Okay. Alright guys, well, I think this is where we're going to wrap it up. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I'll see you in the next episode where the story continues.